According to media reports, along with the weapons package for F-15EX fighter jet, the US might offer its same 120D3 long-range BVR missile to India, that has a range of over 160 kilometers. The development of AIM 120D3 was driven by the performance of 145 kilometers range Chinese PL-15, and under a $125 million F-3R upgrade program, Raytheon has included new software algorithms, extended range due to longer battery life, and missile guidance systems in the AIM 120D3 to counter rapidly evolving threats. The US Air Force has said that the F 15EX will become the first aircraft that would fire the US hypersonic attack cruise missile, as the F 15EX can carry substantially more armament than the F 35 due to its higher payload capacity. Brahmos Aerospace and the Indian Navy have started negotiations for the development of a Brahmos submarine launched cruise missile that will have a range of 1,000 kilometers and will be launched from the vertical launch systems of submarines that will be built as part of Project 75I and Project 76. The Brahmos missile has already demonstrated the capability to be launched from a pontoon-based silo at a depth of 50 meters several years ago, and the program successfully achieved all its mission objectives. However, the Indian Navy did not possess submarines equipped with a vertical launching system at that time. Brahmos Aerospace is also working on the 300 km range Brahmos NG, that will be capable of being launched from submarine torpedo tubes of the 6 Calvary class submarines of the Navy. <laughs> India is on the brink of securing a second export order for the guided Pinaka rocket launcher from an undisclosed country, which is an advanced version with a range of 75 km that has already been inducted into the Indian Army. The negotiations have been ongoing for some time now, and the contract is expected to be finalized in the upcoming months, following which an official announcement will be made. The DRDO developed rocket launcher has already been exported to Armenia, and this potential deal marks another milestone in India's efforts to bolster its defense exports. India has already deployed long-range ballistic missile defense radar systems to track ballistic missile launches and their re-entry, but the adversaries can potentially overwhelm India's defenses with multiple decoy launches. In order to counter this issue, India is currently developing a new set of long-range discrimination radar systems that will be capable of tracking incoming missiles, while differentiating between lethal warheads from decoys. The new radar system will result in improved tracking of decoys, which will allow for the launch of interceptors only at warheads. The development of these radars is still in its early stages, and will be ready for trials by 2027. The Indian Army has been studying Russian usage of electronic jammers to interfere with GPS signals in Ukraine, which has resulted in failure of Ukrainian GPS-guided munitions. GPS jamming has the potential to interfere with precision-guided smart munitions such as Excalibur artillery shells and joint direct attack munition, and the Indian Army believes that the acquisition of such jammers will enhance their ability to protect against GPS-guided munitions. A delegation of Israel Defense Forces were given tour of the line of control to gain knowledge and insights about the terrain and anti-infiltration tactics used by the Indian Armed Forces, and the Israel Defense Forces also shared its own experiences and strategies with the Indian military as part of their defense cooperation. After a prestigious service to the country for 36 years, the Indian Navy decommissioned its oldest landing ship INS Mugger yesterday. The ship was the first indigenous ship of the Indian Navy with more than 5,500 gross registered tonnage, and it participated in numerous operations amphibious exercises and humanitarian missions.